Welcome to New Realities. I'm Alan Steinfeld, and this program is about the expansion of the human being. Who are we really, and what are we capable of being, of feeling, of expanding into? And that is why I'm here today with one of my favorite people, a great teacher for me, and um, one of the first people I've interviewed on the show, Carla Tara, is a expert in Tantra, which means the coming together of the art of love, the art of conscious being, and she's one of the pioneers in the field. We'll be talking today not just about Tantra. Carla's been able to bring her awareness of Tantra back into relationships, so I'm very excited that you have uh, expanded your wisdom. Tell me, though, about being a Tantrika. How did you become this amazing being. I had a passion since a child practically to be a teacher, but I didn't know what to teach. So I, I taught the, the trees and you know, it was very interesting. But then I understood that I needed to go away from my village in order to really learn. You were brought up in Italy, small little town in the Italian Alps, yeah. Yeah. and um, you need to get why did you want to get away from that? Oh. Uh, it was hard to live there because sexuality was not allowed. Um, and you were very... I was very sexy, so I didn't fit there. I had to hide. I ran away from that place, no more here. But I, when I was there, I saw how many women suffered. Suffered there. how? They were abused sexually oh. Oh. Uh, by men. And then the worst thing is that men couldn't, would not marry them afterwards, ever. After, that's they would be feeling the shame the rest of their lives, right? So that touched me. Wow. Yeah. So I felt so sad about that, and I decided to help change that, but I didn't know how. As so I went up to a mountain to, to pasture the cows, uh, I was very tired, and I, got, I sat down for a moment, and, and all of a sudden, there was this experience coming over me that was fascinating, scary, passionate, all of it. Anyway, uh, it, it felt like my seat would open and uh, roots were, f were going down towards the center of the earth, while at the same time, this was this bright light, uh, hot, uh, shooting up from my uh, root all the way into the, for uh, the head, and and. I just was in awe. I didn't know who, I was trembling also inside. I did, was in awe. And I stayed there, you know, until I saw a vision. And I visualized myself in a big carpet with many women teaching. You saw yourself as a teacher of women. Uh, and I was speaking a language that I didn't understand. That was English, but I was Italian. And how but old I were you at the time? Uh, 12. Well, to, oh, to I didn't know this happened as yeah. a young. Yeah. So this was your destiny that was unfolding. That was my destiny, yeah. And then how did you get into Tantra? When I arrived here, uh, I was very curious, and I found out right away that there was a guru, a, a teacher from India here. His name was Gurudev Chitrubanu, and I went to see him immediately, and I discovered that, re, you know, the religion I was taught mm. was not for me. and I. And he was teaching about Tantra, and how Tantra is a mother, mm -hmm. and it helps people. It's not there to tell them what to do. It's here to help. People love each other. And I say, oh, you're speaking my language. You were so passionate about Tantra because of the abuse women. Yeah. So how does Tantra work with these women who are abused? Well, if you're abused, what you do, you are contracted in shame and guilt. The abused person takes in the abuser's shame. Talk therapy cannot work with that. Mm -hmm. So I studied William Reich as well, who understands about body contractions right. and how to open them up. And he uses breath, sound, movement, exactly what Tantra is doing. I think he was a tantric man. Did you go back to Italy after and teach these women? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go back to my village. When I go there, I go to church. You, now, you, because you've been such an expert in, in tantra, then you've taken that and expanded that into relationships. Right. What I do now, I, I tell people that what I was teaching in the Tantra techniques before did not include important parts that I'm in love like, with, like which what? communication, understanding of each other, putting the other first, stop fighting, all of that 
I couldn't really bring it in when people come to learn techniques. So your tantra work has gone deeper then? Yes, much deeper. And you give workshops with couples? Talk yeah. about that. Actually, tomorrow night I have five couples coming to my apartment. To do what happens in your work? I'm going to teach them what they need to know. Is do the ocean breath for the women, men watch them do it, and then when they finally hug, they naturally undulate together mm -hmm. already. So they have the feeling of Tantra in their body. Thanks, Carla, for <laughs> being here. I'm really happy that you've spent your lifetime devoted to helping people have more passion in their lives. Yes. So we'll be hearing more from Carla. I have a bunch of new videos coming out that you're going to love, so stay tuned.